we got the uh, all new Rogue Driver. I'm trying this one out for it's brand new for the, for this season. So uh, that's what we're working on: finding the right loft and you know getting the right spin rates and everything else. Then I have my old trusty three wood, the uh, Diablo Octane. I think this is a 2009 model that's been with me for a long time. Obviously, yeah, absolutely, it served me well over the years. So uh, that's my go-to club to hit fairways and and. Uh, since it's a strong club as well, I can I can reach some par fives uh, sometimes where other players might not be able to do it. Then I got the uh, four wood, also in the rogue, uh, to kind of you know work work my way down there, get the right yardages. I've had uh, I've had four wood because my uh, my uh, three wood is a strong three wood. It's it's 13 degrees, and then uh, I just went for a four wood to kind of have a have a good gap all the way down. Obviously, I'm still with the four wedges. My uh, my then weak three iron, strong four iron to the forward is that's kind of where I'm lacking a little bit. But if you want to gain on one end, you got to give up something on the other. So um, all in all, it's uh, it's a good setup that I'm happy with. Uh, I got uh, the old Graflo blue that's not really existing anymore. We have a few laying around. Yeah, yeah. So we're not. Uh, it's a fair chance I'll retire before we run out of shafts. I think. What was the saying? Out of my cold dead hands. <laughs> Then uh, I actually had a change in my in my setup in uh, in August last year, so I'm now uh, I'm now using four wedges. Uh, so I kind of relofted my my set. The biggest changes for that was really the pitching wedge and the four five iron. So my four iron is is really kind of in between three and four. So it's a weak three or a strong four, working my way up to pretty strong pitching wedge. And then I got a 50 degree, a 56, and a 60. So that just gives me a little bit more distance control on that end. Uh, I was playing three wedges for, for a long time, but I, I really felt like it would, it would be a big benefit. So uh, I made that move and uh, been very happy with that. The Irons uh, is also a little older model. It's a Legacy Black. Uh, I think that was only sold in, in uh, Japan and Australia and Germany or something like that. So. Uh, not too many of those around, I guess. And then I got the Mac Daddy four wedges. And then uh, we're finally on the putter. Uh, I got this, the old Fang, the white top number seven. Um, and I've just been, been looking, I, I like a kind of a squarish, thick leading uh, or top line. And then I got the, the lines up on the Fang, so I find that pretty easy to, to line up with. And um, yeah, when I find something that works, I, I tend to stick with that for a while. Uh, no, it's actually a, a new one. The other one got a little banged up eventually. So, uh, yeah, when, when you're looking down and with all the travel we do, sometimes you start getting little marks on top and so on. So, um, the one from Troon is happily retired in my office. Yeah, it's, uh, I got some, uh, some uh, Ryder Cup bags in my office and uh, it, it, I believe it stands in one of them. So. It's it's in a good place. Uh, I'm a 34 inch on the putter, and then I got a Garson grip. Uh, I've used that for for quite a few years now as well. It it really, it, it's the reminder is really in the front on this grip. So you you kind of grip it to the side of it. It's it's uh, it's a thick grip like uh, like quite a few players are using. And uh, um, yeah, this one just felt good to me, and I've, I've used it ever since. So it's it's obviously a personal preference on on grips, but you got a lot of different brands that makes thicker ones to kind of take the hands out of play a little bit.